Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customising this. It is the Declasse Vigero ZX Convertible. So we already have the ZX in GTA, uh, GTA Online, and now we have a convertible version of it. Now, in the last episode, we customized this. It is the Dominator GT convertible, which I think looks absolutely fabulous. And now we have a convertible Camaro. Let's have a quick look at the price of this thing on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos. It is fairly pricey. It's actually more expensive than the Dominator in the last episode. Um, $2.3 million in GT Online. Let's actually compare that to the price of the normal one. I can't actually remember the price of the normal um, ZX. Let's have a look here. So the normal ZX is nearly $2 million. It's $1.9 million. So it is more expensive than the original. It's nearly $300,000 more expensive. Um, in my opinion, does not look as good. And so far, this thing does not have um, the House Special Works, the HSW upgrade, like the hardtop version. But let's have a little look at the customization and the performance and see how it compares. Okay, so we're going to fully upgrade all the armor and brakes and things just to see um, what kind of performance this thing has. Uh, front bumper options, I'm expecting most of the customization to be the same as the hardtop version with possibly a few new liveries, which it does seem to be, to be honest. So we've got the stop bumper, we've got carbon trimmed, we've got carbon bumper, secondary bumper, carbon race bumper, Trimmed race bumper, Think secondary race hard. bumper, super race bumper, trimmed super race, and secondary super race. Um, I like the carbon one, so we're going to go with that. Your cosmetics are uh, rear, we have the stock. We can go for carbon and we can go for secondary. Um, I do like the secondary, so we'll go with that. Looks almost as good as you. Engine options, we'll just go and upgrade that fully. Exhaust options, we've got these nice square Camaro looking exhausts. We can go for rounded versions of those. we got the quad exhausts, if you want to go for that. we got that in titanium as well. We can go for primary tipped, which looks hideous. We've got those in, um, what's the difference with Life those? Life is hard when you can have anything. Okay, I don't see the difference in those. Uh, anyway, we got the hexagon ones, we got the performance exhaust, and we got the bronze ones. I'm actually going to leave them stock. I like the square ones. I'm a big fan of square exhaust on Camaros for some reason. Um, the grill, we can go for no grill. We can go for the black sport grill. We got the chrome sport grill, secondary sport grill. Uh, we got the black honeycomb, chrome honeycomb secondary honeycomb and we got the gt chrome gt and the secondary gt i like the honeycomb in black i think that looks pretty good so we'll go with that no rush at all. hood options we got the stock hood looks pretty nice we got a bit of a bulge in there already with a couple of vents we can go for a secondary version of that i'm actually just going to change the secondary real quick because we can't actually see what the difference is so we'll just set it to red for now just so you guys can see what the secondary options are. There we go. Uh, so I will go and change the color of the vehicle later on. But just so you guys can see what the secondary options are actually changing. Uh, we got a carbon version of the stock hood. Uh, and then we go to the vented hood. Secondary vented hood. And the carbon version. We got the aftermarket hood. How, How is that different to that? I think it's just a little bit smoother. Like the angles on this one are a bit steeper, I think, but it looks pretty similar, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we've got the secondary version and a carbon version of that. 
we got lots of hood options. We got the race hood, which is just like a little bulge in the middle, which looks quite good. It's kind of like the stock one, but without the vents. We got a secondary version of that and a carbon. We got the street hood in secondary and carbon. And we got the vanity hood. So you can actually see the engine like we saw on the Dominator. Um, we got a secondary version of that and a carbon version. Then we got the street scoop hood, which adds a massive scoop in there. That is ridiculous. We got a secondary and a carbon version of that. Whatever you we got the decide. racing scoop hood. Technology and budget secondary commitment. version and a carbon. Then we got the performance scoop hood and a secondary and a carbon version of that. I quite like this one, just the um, vented hood in primary. I think Not that looks pretty job. good. Uh, we've got horn and light options. We've got some livery options. I imagine these will be all the same as the normal one. So let's have a look. We got the white, white, sorry, wide white stripes. We got narrow white stripes. We got the hood stripes, which would look better if you had a, like, if you didn't have that, like, shaker in the middle of the it, hood. But I'm a big fan of the shaker hoods. Uh, we got black stripes, which actually go right over the vehicle there. Um, oh. I just noticed it changed the rear bumper colour. Okay. Um, then we've got the Lane Racer. <laughs> There's some really wide racing stripes. That looks a bit weird. I'm not going to lie. we got the Red Hood Stripes. Looks quite nice. Maybe if you want to go for like an stressful. Exorcist build, I guess. Like a Chevrolet Exorcist build. Because um, obviously they're black with the red stripes. we got the Grill Slats. Oh my gosh. That looks very weird we've got the katana racer i think i'm am i saying that right katana katana racer okay so i don't think these are on the original one which is interesting we've got fukaru it's actually quite a nice simple one again if you're going for a um like an exorcist build might look quite good we got the street style we got Armed Go. Oh my gosh, that looks very weird. Um, we got the Declasse Pace Car. Oh, that's pretty cool. Official Pace Car. I like that a lot. That looks really cool. Okay, we got Device. We got Junk Racer. That's quite cool if you're building like a race car. We got Hard Stand. Hard Stand Fixer. So it's a different one there. Um, we've got the yellow arrow Rush gasoline on. racing with more like hard stand stuff on it. And we've got that in like an alternate version, which is quite cool. Some nice liveries in there. Actually, some different ones as well, which I wasn't expecting. Some very odd ones as well. Uh, I'm going to leave it stock. I know, again... We're not going for a livery. Haven't actually put a livery on any of the cars yet. I don't think, anyway. Um, but I'm How just not a huge fan of again? all the weird liveries that Rockstar had. I just don't think they look great on the cars. Uh, I, I quite like to go for clean builds when I build cars. Maybe you guys disagree with that. Um, we've got some mirror options. So we've got these sort of stock mirrors. We can get those in secondary. And in carbon, then we got the GT ones, which look like actual sort of Camaro drink? mirrors a bit Bubbles more. And uh, we got those in secondary and in carbon. I actually like those a lot more, so we're going to go for those in Looking primary. Good. Plate options, if you haven't seen this yet, uh, we can now get green and red plates. So we got Sprunk and E. Cola license plates, which is quite cool. Uh, the rear diffuser. We got the stock diffuser, carbon diffuser. We can go for secondary if you want to match it into the bumper like I've got there. Uh, we can go for a carbon Whatever vented. You we got secondary Technology vented. We got a carbon race. We got a trimmed race, which has like little secondary accents all over it. We got the secondary race, which is all secondary coloured. We got carbon competition, and we got. Oh, we've got a few more. We've got trimmed competition. And um, we've got that in secondary. Then we've got the carbon overkill. 
and we got that in secondary as well. Uh, sorry, in like like accent secondary and then actual secondary. Um, not really a fan of any of those. I'd just like the stock one. I think that looks good enough for me. Uh, respray we'll come back to at the end, but obviously the yellow is primary, and then um, you've got secondary, which you can see is the red down there, and obviously any other secondary options that you choose. Uh, skirt options next, we've got stock one, we can go for a carbon version of that, we can go for a secondary version of that, then we've got the carbon with a little wing down there, um, we've got a secondary version of that. We've got the trimmed wings, which adds like it, a little secondary accent on there. If you want to match it to the diffuser, we've got carbon performance, secondary performance, which also still has a little wing down there. Uh, we've got trimmed performance. we got carbon street, which actually looks quite nice. That's so quite clean. I like that. Um, we've got a secondary version of that. We've got the trimmed street skirt, which has stressful. a little like secondary accent down there. We've got a carbon super skirt, which adds another little wing on the side. And we've got a secondary version of that, and then we've got the trimmed super skirt. Um, I'm not really a fan of any of them, to be honest. I think just, just we'll just go for the stock one, but in carbon. Looks quite good. Um, splitters next. So we'll probably hard. just match this one. Well, it is sort of, it is carbon already, and obviously we've got all the little carbon accents on the front with the honeycomb and stuff, but we can go for a no splitter, which it does actually have a splitter, sort of. Um, we can go for the carbon race splitter, we've got the trimmed, which adds a little accent round, we've got a secondary race splitter, we've got an arc Life one in carbon, trimmed arc, secondary arc. Carbon super splitter, trimmed super splitter, and secondary, and that's your lot. So uh, there's lots of like like accent ones, or they call it trimmed ones that you can go for. We've got some spoiler options. You do get a little spoiler standard. Looks just sort of like the stock Camaro. No rush at all. Like spoiler, you can go for it in secondary or in carbon. We've got an aftermarket one, which looks a little bit nicer, I think. Looks a bit more clean. We got that in primary, secondary, and um, carbon. We can go for a high rise, like carbon street spoiler. I'm not sure if that one's supposed to be like the Exorcist wing a little bit more. We got the Commando spoiler. These are all like bolt on ones. Carbon performance spoiler. Carbon sport GT wing. And then we got these like rear mounted ones, which I'm not a fan of. We got that one. We got the Street GT Wing, we've got the low level GT How Wing, many cars you got and we've got again? the massive, with like strut braces and stuff like that, the high level GT Wing. I'm going to go for the aftermarket one in carbon, I think. Looks quite good. You've got an um, sunstrips. We've got some sunstrip options. We've got no sunstrip, primary, secondary, and black. Not really a fan of those, so we'll leave them. It is quite low already, but we can make it even lower. It does fill that arch gap a bit nicer. The rear, the rear is a little bit higher than the front. I kind of wish they were like you could lift the front up a, a little bit more Bubbles and lower the back a little bit more, so they sort of match. So I'm just going to go like midway, like that. We'll keep a little bit of arch gap. Uh, we'll go ahead and put on full transmission and turbo. The wheel options. Uh, let's have a little look. I want to make it sort of black. I think these, something Baby's like these, up. will look quite good. Maybe not those exactly. Um, I mean, I've built the the hard top version and these are the wheels that I have on the hard top. I'm basically building the hard top version but with the convertible. Um, I'm trying to make it look like my hard top but convertible so we'll go with those. They look quite good. Um, we can go ahead and tint the windows. Uh, that, that little bit of glass stays up in the back which looks a bit weird. It only does it on that side as well Whatever I've just noticed. 
technology I think and that, I think that might be a mistake to be honest um, but yeah we'll go ahead and tint the windows so when the roof is up it looks a bit better but yeah I think that's a little bit of a mistake by a rock star there uh, I imagine there's gonna be people probably trying to shoot that out because they don't like it because it does look weird but anyway um, I actually quite like the yellow if you can think it so um, I think we're gonna leave the yellow but I'm gonna change the secondary color to yellow as well just so Girl it matches a little bit better good. like that and that is the car fully customized it looks pretty good let's go outside see how it performs compared to the hard top and uh, we'll put the roof up and down and things and have a little look at it outside all right here we are outside it's actually daytime for once which is nice um let's actually can we shoot that little bit of glass i'm curious uh i don't think we can actually nope we can't shoot that little bit of glass which is unfortunate because it looks really weird just stuck up like that but let's put the roof up anyway oh my gosh it, like lift that whole plate up Come on. go away brucey there we go with the roof up looks a little bit better not gonna lie obviously them little bits on the side look a bit better so we'll leave the roof up today for this one let's have a little drive around in it see how it compares i think it's probably going to be same performance as the hard top but obviously we can't get hsw upgrade for this one like you can on the hard top so yeah it feels pretty fast to be honest it has good acceleration it feels pretty much the same as the hard top um, it's quite oversteery the same as the normal version so the lights have just come on yeah, what can I say about this car? Um, not a huge fan of the convertible. I'd rather have the hard top. I prefer the hard top. It doesn't look as good as the Dominator GT, which we customized last time, in my opinion. Um, in my opinion, yeah, I would rather have the hard top. It has better customization. I prefer the hard top. And of course, it has the HSW upgrade, so it's faster as well. But let me know what you guys think. Do you like the convertible um, Vigero ZX? Are you going to be buying this thing? Do you think it's worth it? I just don't really see the point of this thing in GT Online. Like, we already had a hard top. I don't really know many people who want a convertible version of it. Um, but let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be buying it. And if you did enjoy this video, smash the like button and sub subscribe if you're new. Really appreciate you watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.